So let's make some connections. <clears throat> we used the geoboard and dot paper on the previous slide to find perimeter of a rectangle. But you can also use grid paper to find the perimeter of figures by counting the number of units on each side. You have to be careful when you do this that you don't miss a side. You're not counting squares, you're counting side lengths. So let's try a couple together. It says start at the arrow and trace the perimeter. Begin counting with one, continue counting each unit around the figure until you have counted each unit. So a unit on this one, instead of it being a square, like for area, that's not what perimeter is. When we're finding perimeter, we're finding the length of the square. So this is a unit. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen units. Sixteen sides, sixteen units along the side. Okay, I could have numbered them. I have 16 units. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 16 units. All right, now let's try B. B is going to be a little bit trickier, especially whenever we get into the corners. You have to make sure you count both of them. So let's try this together. Let's find the perimeter of this figure. We're going to start with one, two, three, four. Let's mark that down. Don't forget number four. It's important. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 units. See how over here we have three and four, five and six? You have to count each unit as a number. Don't miss any. So this figure is 14 units. Okay, now it's your turn to try it on your own. Check your work at the bottom. Find the perimeter of each of these figures.